bumblebee. These bumblebees are odd. During the night, there'll be a few of them that'll sit down in the flower, and it's like they die there. They overdid themselves. Oh, and if, let me see if I can get close up of that. See that white spider in there? It's got a hold of a fly. It's a good thing. Oh, and to tell you about Roy's bees, they're all gone now. Anyway, what I did here so far is that I put in these holes here for the wire because it's going to be kind of difficult doing that while I'm, uh, or after I have the siding on. And I have a bit that's four foot long, or maybe five foot long. Maybe I'll show it to you. This one's going to be a difficult one to get the wire around the corner because this 2x4 should have been there so I'd have this gap to be able to get my hand in and pull it around or whatever. I went ahead and got them all through here. So what I'm going to do today I do believe is I have that upper, oops, that upper board I need to put in and then I think I'm going to go ahead and sheet this so, and then I can side it, but like I said, I'm not too worried about that yet because I need to tie into the roof up there and bring it across around here. This roof is actually supposed to tie in to this roof right over here, which is a different pit than the other roof over there. Let me, let me stop this and show you. Okay, you can see what my roof pitch looks like. And the one roof, it hasn't leaked or anything, but it's actually too flat compared to the roof I need to tie into. And I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. If I'm going to use the three tab like they already put on, Dad hired a roofer to come roof this a few years ago. And they must have thought it was okay, or Dad just told them, roof it. I don't know yet. So let's get at her. So this is a bit I used. I guess it's six foot tall or six foot long. I use a three quarter inch, is what this says, in case you didn't catch it. It's got the auger bit on it. This is also meant for if you have sheetrock already up and you're trying to rewire a house, you can poke the hole where you're going to put the plug in at and you can drill down to get through the floor so you can go up from underneath or you can go from up above depending on uh, where you need to put that plug and what's easier for you and these really come in handy so that's what it is six foot long narrow in so pretty much any drill can get it I see it's got a wobble in the end of it. That just goes to show we are using it. Okay, back at her. Very sturdy, is it?
little, what we did, we went ahead and ran the wires here in the corners, including that one. That was the worst one. You won't be able to really see it except right here. So this way we won't have to fight them later. And we just ended them there because that's where we're going to put some kind of a box or something. All right, so let's get back. decided to put the siding on or I should say the oh what do they call that stuff OSB it's OSB yeah but it's not the siding it's uh <laughs> anyway you can see what we put on there and we started this afternoon because obviously we went to breakfast came home a little bit late had to I, Oh, I guess uh, Dad had to go to the doctor, which was worthless going there, there in Centralia, just because. Uh, he's doing fine, though. He even jumped on the tractor and started trying to tear it up, I think, out in the woods. I'm not sure. I haven't been out there. But the tractor did make it back home. But as you can see, we got whatever that is on there, besides OSB. And I don't know. We might get to it. Well, Roy's got to do something tomorrow, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be capable because, you know, I'm handicapped. But I might try to put on a couple more sheets on the other side, but I first have to build the door frame. So we'll see what goes on. Until next time.